Medical experts have encouraged us to wear a face mask during the pandemic. But when we get home, we may not like what we see underneath. The nurses who are having to wear masks for extended periods of time, pressure on their face and certainly some bruising. Healthcare workers were some of the first to highlight the toll masks are taking and continue to take on people's skin. The nurses were complaining about a number of surgical masks that had entered circulation uh, that smelt uh, had a very strong diesel smell to them and the nurses were using essential oils to try to cover the smell, causing nurses to have headaches, sore throat, a real itchiness in their throat. Uh, and some nurses have even reported uh, blisters developing on their face. As more people are opting to cover their faces, many are noticing changes in their skin. Trapping a lot of moisture and uh, maybe a little bit of dirt from our skin and there's a little bit more friction and heat than that's supposed to happen. The new term coined for the condition is mask knee and some Korean beauty brands have even come out with products advertised specifically to address the symptoms associated with wearing a mask, like acne, peeling skin, and rashes. But dermatologist Dr. Vincent Richet suggests you may not need to spend a lot of cash to prevent the condition. Wash the face with a gentle soap-free cleanser morning and night and apply a layer of moisturizer uh, on top of that. That might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but it's actually protecting uh, your skin from uh, having all that heat and friction in that area really clog up those pores. Another tip, Dr. Rishi advises if you do wear makeup, avoid applying it in the area covered by a mask. Meanwhile, the BC Centre for Disease Control has released some recommendations for healthcare workers, saying the continuous, extended and repetitive use of PPE, including masks, gloves and safety glasses, may cause adverse skin reactions. Nurses are providing tips to each other on how to prevent skin breakdown, uh, how to assist with seal, uh, wearing ear savers or those little clips behind the masks uh, to stop the mask from rubbing behind the ear and causing sores there. Dr. Riche suggests some are easier on your skin than others. Certainly a cotton mask has a little bit of that moisture wicking ability, but something that can help uh, regardless of how it's made is how we care for it, right? I read a funny segment about how we should be caring for our mask the way we care for our underwear, right? And so you wash it regularly, you don't trade it with anyone, right? In New Westminster, Ashley Burr, City News.